What is the similarity between Tesla and Lada? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. And you may wonder, one of the most advanced car manufacturers, Tesla, and one of the car manufacturers from Russia, not necessarily known for innovation. Look at the picture behind me. How can I even compare them? Well, maybe I should rephrase it. Not what is the similarity, what are similar challenges? While Lada is producing cars, and even though they are prepaid in many instances, they can't be exported to the European market because of the current embargo. Same is true for Tesla. Tesla is sourcing a good amount of their aluminum from Russian plants and is running into trouble with sourcing enough aluminum for their cars. Also, Tesla is sourcing graphite from different plants, different sites all over the world. And Russia and Ukraine are sites where graphite is being produced, both artificial and natural. So at the end, the current war in Ukraine could lead to issues where both the advanced car manufacturers as well as, well, Lada may have a problem in getting cars on the market. The real challenge I see is not, in the, not only in the light of supply chain management, the idea, how can you source your products in a way that when one country fails, when one producer fails, you're not out of luck. I see it in my daily life as advising my clients that they are putting eggs not only in one basket, but they are trying to diversify their suppliers. So if one has a problem, not the whole production has to halt. It seems to be that reliance on raw materials from just one country is a game from the past. And in the future, companies need to be more diversified in their sourcing in order to be competitive in the future.